Love is Victoria here with Ching My Books and Me, and today I'm bringing you my summer book haul, which is really like my January, February book haul, but we're going to call it my summer book haul anyway, because I think I got two of these books back in December after I filmed my last haul. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's just go because I've got quite a few books here, um, but books I'm all very, very excited about. So the first book was kindly sent to me from Hatchet Australia and that is a finished copy of The Girl King by Mimi Yu. If you guys remember, I think it might have been my December, maybe even my November, I think it was my December. My last book haul, I talk, I had an ARC copy of this book. This book came out at the beginning of January. I still haven't read it yet. Um, but this is the finished copy of it. It looks really pretty. Um, this sounds awesome. I'm not going to read the blurb because I've already read the blurb before for this I think twice at least in my videos. Um, but this is a fantasy following like a broken kingdom, a bit of magic power in there. Um, it's meant to be good. I've heard pretty good things about this. I just haven't read it yet. So Go check it out now that it's out. Next book is one you may have seen if you follow my other channel. I talked about it in my What I Got For Christmas video and that is Santa Claus, no, Santa is Coming to Victoria, written by Emma Nash and illustrated by Lee Crutop. Um, this is a collection of books that have been out in Australia for a couple of years now. Each state, I think there's one that Santa is coming to Australia, then each state has one, each capital city has one. Um, some of the major cities outside the capital cities have one um, and then different regions have one. I really, I'm pretty sure there is one for the region I live in. I live in the Riverina. I think I've seen one that's Santa is coming to the Riverina. Anyway, my mum saw this and she'd seen it a couple of times and she was like, I'm just going to get it for you because obviously my name's Victoria. So she thought it would be just really cool to have one. And I had kind of wanted to get one of these books anyway, just to sit, you know, just to kind of have it in my collection, have it in my Christmas collection, have it in my future. 10 years down the track for kids collection. Um, I haven't actually read it. I'm saving it for Christmas this year, but yeah, it's just a, it's just a picture book. It's just a Australian Christmas book, which I think is really cool um, that we have that on the market, that Australian kids can have a book that is a little bit more representative of a Christmas we have here in Australia. Then I did some shopping in the Boxing Day sales and the first book I picked up is The Kissing Booth by Beth Recalls. I've actually already read this. I read this back when the movie came out. I love the movie. I love the book but I wanted to get a physical copy for my collection because I'd only read the ebook um, and also because it's a book that I would reread again. Um, so yeah I mean if you have never heard of this have you been living under a rock? It's a really good book. Um, that started off as a Wattpad story and then turned into a freaking film. How cool is that? Next up, I picked up Try Hard by Emeril Shiano. This is the Extra Sass edition. This is her uh, memoir that she came out within 2015-16 and then um, updated it by adding three more chapters in 2017. Um, I love Emeril Shiano. I've um, enjoyed following her life since she was on Australian Idol back in 2004, I think it was. Um, plus she's actually got family in my hometown and I remember when she was on Australian Idol it was like a big thing in town that it was essentially like the butcher's cousin was in Australian Idol and actually her uncle was my bus driver in high school and he used to like mention that you know he had a niece who was a singer who was a comedian who did radio um I was very proud of her um, and like her nan used to live here, well her nan lived here I think most of her life um, before she died. This book is actually dedicated to her nana who used to live here. Um, and so yeah, she's kind of, I suppose she didn't grow up here at all and I, or anything and I'm sure she visited when she was a kid and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know, I just feel like because there's a sort of a connection there because she had family locally she has family locally um but yeah i love em and i love her comedy and i'd been wanting to get this book for so long and i finally arrived picking it up i'm actually reading it right now i am a well i'm actually 64 pages in huh i didn't realize i'd read that much um it's really funny i really like em's writing style and if you are a fan of her i definitely recommend checking the book out hopefully i will get it finished soon the good thing is it's a book that you can take your time with because it's an autobiography then i actually picked up the box set of the to all the boys i've loved before series by jenny Han. so there is to all the boys i've loved before um p.s i still love you and then the newer one the newest one is always in forever lara jean 
I love the Netflix film and I started reading the first book. I started reading it as an ebook just after the film came out and I saw it and I was enjoying it. It just took me a while to get into it just because I wasn't really feeling it in a reading. I wasn't really in a reading mood, um, but I wanted to get the physical books and to read them. I want to get this series read by the time the second film comes out, which I have plenty of time. I say that I probably won't get them all read, um, but yeah, I'm hoping to uh, get all the books read and I'm excited. The next book was kindly sent to me by Hatchet and that is Devoted by Jennifer Matthew. Um, I think this book came out in February, I think, um, January and other places, but the book is out now. Um, this is actually uh, an ARC copy, but this is the final cover for at least the UK and Australia. I have seen a different cover for the US. This when it arrived, I was like, oh, I don't know if that's something I'd be interested in. Just going off the look on the cover, but it sounds pretty, it sounds like it's going to be pretty good. Like on the look of it, I thought it was going to be maybe a bit too religious. I'm not really religious. I didn't really feel like going down that. But anyway, an empowering feminist coming of age story about one young woman's fight to take control of her own life. Rachel Walker's family and community have turned away from the world. Every part of Rachel's life is controlled from what she reads to where she goes and what she wears. Her parents dictate how her life must be. Marriage, modesty, children and obedience to her future husband. And then the girl, and then a girl escaped the community. And then a girl who escaped to the community moves back to Rachel's small Texas town and her world turns upside down. She realizes that her life is her own, but she, can she find the courage to fight for it? So it sounds definitely really empowering. Jennifer is the author of the book Moxie, which I've still not read yet, but is like a really good book as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will read this. Hopefully I will have started this maybe by the time this video goes up. I don't know. I want to have read this. I want to read this. I want to get to it soon. But it sounds really, really good. And the reviews that I've seen so far for this one have been pretty positive too. Finally, the last book I got is another um, autobiography memoir that I've been eyeing off since it came out. I finally decided to pick it up because why not? I'm really interested in reading it. And that is Thirsty by Joel Creasy, Confessions of a Fame Whore. Joel Creasy is an awesome Australian comedian, um, which I discovered when he was on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. He was hilarious. I think it was the very first season. Yes, it was the very first season. He was hilarious and wanted to get his book for like ever since it came out. I recently watched his Netflix show. He has a 30 minute stand up show as part of the Comedians of the World series on Netflix. Really recommend checking it out. He is awesome. So I decided to finally get his book. Um, I've heard pretty good things about this book as well. Um, although I will say a couple of the reviews that came up on Booktopia were less than shining, but I don't know. I really like Joel. His comedy is really great and just his like storytelling abilities within his comedy is really good. So I'm hoping that this book is going to be a really, really fun read. Um, and yeah. I'm excited. So they are all the books that I got the first two months of this year. They're all books that I'm super excited to read when I get round to them. Um, I've just got to like move my butt and pick it up and start. It's all very well for them just to be like sitting there and me going, yep, yeah, I'm going to read them, but I've actually got to pick them up. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on any of these books if you've read them or if there is a book, if any of these are ones that you really want to read, but you still haven't picked them up yet. I'll link below to all of them so you can go check them out. And I think that's it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.